Target man, you there? Somebody, 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 Are you there? Oh Help! Are you the man? Oh man. Oh, no. oh, no. Stop! Don't do that! Don't do that! Hey, hey, hey! I'm a doctor. I know what I'm doing. Get out of the way, kid. Get out of the way. I got to it as soon as I could. Is she breathing? Does she have a pulse? I need room, lady. Excuse me. Please, please, please. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, please. Please, don't take me. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. You have to get her to the emergency room right away. <laughs> hey! Did they put her on an IV? And they gave her a bunch of warm liquids to drink. Good! Butter temperature back up. That's important. You can go into pneumonia after something like this. I can't thank you enough. I didn't get your name, Dr. Uh, Slauson. Victor Slauson. Linda Watkins. This is my daughter, Amy. The two of you ladies live in the States? Uh, San Diego. Ah, oh, me too. How long are you in Acapulco? We fly back tomorrow, thank God. Are you on vacation? I live here. Ah, oh, part-time. I work for an American nonprofit, and they sent me down here to take care of the kids. Really? That yeah. is so cool. I fell in love with the place, so I bought some property. In fact, not too far from here. Let me show you. I'm plenty warm now. I want to see this. Here we go. There we have it. 10,000 square feet overlooks the ocean. Oh my God. Mom, look at his house. Want to see my boat? It's even bigger. Well, not really, but there she is. That thing is huge. Can you, like, go to Hawaii and something like that? Sure you can. Mom, we're going. Next summer, deal? Deal. But I have a problem. I've yet to name her. Mm. I'm thinking maybe something like, uh, I don't know, Amy. What do you think? <laughs> I like that. A Amy's going to be a doctor, too, someday. Really? Mom, can we not? Yeah, we sent her application to a bunch of pre-med programs. We're waiting to hear back. Hey, why don't we take Dr. Slauson to dinner tonight? I'm gay. I don't think that's a good idea. You know what? Your mom's right. You should rest. Mm -hmm. We should go. Hey, wait. Can I get a picture? Yeah, sure. Big smile. Well, then she thanked me for breathing my life into her. What a glorious creation she is, Doc. Just as the good Lord breathed life into Adam. <laughs> and I suppose now you're going to tell me that I'm suffering from a God complex. Is that the deal? No. You're suffering from a schoolboy crush. A crush? You don't get it. She's not like other women. She understands me. A crush? Doc, this is love. Love is a powerful word. Especially for someone you met this afternoon. How old is she? What does it matter how old she is? Because the last time we talked, you said you had a problem with younger women. I don't have a problem with younger women. I have a problem with older women. Are you planning on seeing this young woman again? I intend to see them both again. I've already bought my ticket. In fact, I'm flying out tomorrow morning to be with her. I'm thinking I could date the mother, which would help me get closer to the daughter. Excuse me? Yeah, the mom likes me, I can tell, but don't worry. She'll be bothering us for long. I'm going to strongly advise that you don't try to contact the girl or her mother. But, uh, wait, hold up. We have a connection. I can feel it. So I'm a little older. So what? I'm going to email you a prescription. You don't write me a prescription. I write you a prescription. It's an antidepressant. It will help you control these outbursts. Control? I don't need you to control me. Doc, that's it. We're done. Thank you for your help, Dr. Clark, but your services are no longer needed. Nobody understands.
you live in the U.S.? What kind of business? Are you? Next. How are you today? Fine. Fine. You don't look fine. Are you sick? No, no, no. I just... I mean, it's so hot in here. How long were you in Mexico? Two months. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a... a doctor. What kind of doctor? Cardi... 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 Cardio... Cardio... Heart doctor. In fact, I'm a surgeon. Please don't drip on my desk. Oh, I'm sorry. Code blue! Code blue! All agents! Code blue! No! You stupid schmuck! You're wanted for kidnapping and attempted murder! Did you really think that you would get by me with a phony passport? Next. What kind of business are you in? I'm a cardiologist. What's so funny? I just had angioplasty two weeks ago. Ah. How are you feeling? So much better. If it wasn't for guys like you, I'd be a dead man. Welcome home. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, how about both? One of each. One's for each. No, no, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Why are you looking at her? I can explain. Do you have a kid that goes here? I don't, but look. Okay, then why have I seen you waiting in your car the last few days, huh? Are you one of them freaks? Is your name on a list? Look, look, look. Oh. Stop what is it! it, you son of a bitch? Stop it, I know him. Are you okay? <laughs> this is the doctor I was telling you about. He saved my life in Acapulco. Oh, my God. No way. My bad. Look, I didn't know how to contact you. Except I remembered you had that red Hamilton High sweatshirt. I wanted, I just wanted to say hello. And I brought you something. I wanted to give you this. <laughs> I love it. Dude, I am so sorry. I don't worry about it. <laughs> and what I want to know is, what were you doing swimming out there so far? I don't know. It was just such a nice day, and I guess I wasn't thinking. <sighs> One another. I'm good. Hope it didn't freak you out back there, but I really just wanted to stay in touch with you and your mom. I'm glad you found me. I mean, my mom thinks what you did was amazing. So do I. Thanks. How's she doing? Not good. She's been really sick. What's wrong with her? When she's not at work, she just mopes around the house. She's depressed. She has trouble sleeping. She barely eats. It's like I'm living with the walking dead. I'm the only one who tries to do anything for her. Acapulco was my idea. What do her doctors say? They say she has all kinds of anxieties. Claustrophobia, fear of flying, fear of heights. Whenever we drive across a bridge, she has to let somebody else take the wheel so she can climb into the back seat and cover her head with a blanket. Wow. You should talk to her. She could really use some help. Here's my car. Thank you. Ever give me a call? She doesn't need no doctor. She needs a boyfriend. Would you knock it off? He's probably married, right? 
Came close, but... <laughs> didn't work out. To tell you the truth, your mom is part of the reason I tracked you down. You're never going to guess who I ran into today. Dr. Slauson. Acapulco, Dr. Slauson? Yeah, he gave me this. Isn't that hilarious? Where did you see him? He came by school. He wants you to call him. What for? Are you okay? He wants to ask you on a date. You remember, don't you? It's a mating ritual between men and women. I'm not going out with him. Forget it. Why not? He's nice. He's rich. He has a place in Acapulco. Oh, and in case you forgot, uh, he saved my life. Because I I'm not attracted to him, okay? He's not my type. If he's not your type, then why have you been talking about him every day since we got back from Mexico? I have not been talking about him every day since we got back from Mexico. I've been telling people you almost drowned, and he's, he's part of the story. Call him. No. Mom, come on. You haven't been on a date since... Since? Since Dad died. Sorry. Do I have any family? No. I was an only child. You? I have a brother in L.A. He's a piece of work. Well, it's important to stay close to the people we care about. So, what do you do for a living? Yeah, I'm a paralegal. Mm hmm I hate it. Dealing with all those crazy people in court. It's awful. You okay? Yeah. I'm just confused. You're confused about what? I'm not exactly sure how to say this, but... What do you want from me? <laughs> yeah. Amy told me you had some medical issues, and I thought maybe I could help. Why? Because I like you. You like me? Mm-hmm. Really? Based on? Based on the time we spent together in Mexico. Hey, first off, we, we spent maybe a total of 30 minutes together, so you don't know me well enough to like me. You know my daughter better than you know me. Secondly, when you saw me on that beach, I was freaking out because I thought Amy was dying. I was crying, my hair was a mess, I looked awful. You know you're under a great deal of stress. Give yourself a break, really. I hate it when men say things like that. Please do not patronize me. I know I'm getting older. Did Amy? Did Amy put you up to this? Look, if this is her way of trying to make me feel better about myself. I'm gonna call right now. Check, please. Be very nice to give Amy your business card and, and to take me to lunch. But uh, I don't want to waste your time or mine. Okay, you're right. The person that I'm talking to right now. I'm not interested in her. However, I am very much interested in the incredibly courageous woman I met on the beach in Mexico. She was about to lose everything, but somehow, somehow she reached deep inside her heart. And she pulled through. And if that's not beauty, I don't know what is. Do you mean that? I do. Have you had these problems all your life, or is it something recent? I know exactly when they all started. Eight years ago, my husband and I decided to repaint. It's incredible how fast life can change. One minute he's here, telling me one of his stupid jokes I've heard a million times. Linda! Next minute, he's gone. Oh, my God, Peter. Oh, my God, Peter. Are you seeing a therapist? I did, several, for years. They gave me pills, but it didn't seem to do any good. Well, I brought you something today that I think might help you. This is a recipe I learned from a colleague of mine from Tibet. Helps calm your nerves. I need to get in the fridge. Oh, what do you need? Some lemon. Uh, middle drawer. Let's see. Where did I put those? Oh, here they are. Yep. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And 
Now I'm going to write down this recipe for you. And whenever you have any trouble sleeping, simply mix this up and then have sweet dreams. I want to try something. Step up on this. You can't be serious. Take my hand. Step up. Nice. Let go. Hold your hands out. Let them fall. Pick them up. You're in control, doll. Hem your hands. Take my hand. You're on your own. Pick your hands up. You look beautiful. Drop your hands again. Take my hands. If you can get over this problem, the rest will be easy. Take my hand. You can do it. I'm sorry, I can't. It's okay. It's okay. We'll try again later. It's okay. What are you doing this weekend? Hanging out with you, babe. <laughs> yeah, I know we'll be together. She's the Just between me and you, you and Amy. Is this the real deal, pal? Like, what do you mean? I mean, like, is this a rental situation or are you leasing the buy? <laughs> I get it. No. I figured I'd just keep banging until I got sick of it. I'm just kidding. I want to spend the rest of my life with Amy. We're getting married as soon as we graduate. Don't tell anybody. Promise? Okay. You promise? Aren't you guys a little young to get married? Yeah. Yeah, everyone tells us that. But, you know, when you find the woman of your dreams, you just know. I think I'm going to ask him for help on my physiology homework. Oh, that's a great idea. He could be your mentor. It is such a relief to have him around. A relief? What do you mean? Well, he's a doctor and you're, you know. No, I don't know. Every time you go to a specialist, they tell you there's nothing wrong. It's practically a full-time job for me to take care of you. I'm sorry I'm such a burden to you. You're not a burden to me. I'm just saying I'm glad we met Dr. Slauson and you twist my words around and... Forget I mentioned it. So you're not dating anybody else? Nope. Come on, dude. You're only young once. If I were your age again, I'd definitely sample all the goodies in the grocery store before I walked into the counter and made my purchase. Know what I mean? So, are you asking me if I mess around on Amy? Or is that what you want me to do? Hmm? Neither. I'm just, just saying. You know, Doc, if I didn't totally respect you for what you've done for her, I'd say you were checking her out when we were playing soccer. I was not checking her out, pal. She's young enough to be my daughter granddaughter.
I'm gonna get something to drink. What's that? Uh, I made some of that stuff Victor gave me. Is it working? Yeah, I think. Oh, by the way, what did you get from Home Vista Drugstore? Nothing. Maybe Dr. Slauson left it behind. Yeah, I guess. I'm cold. Have you seen my sweatshirt? It's in the living room. You know, we do have a central heating system. I get hot at night. I don't. It's freezing here. <laughs> well, get an extra blanket. <sighs> so, are you gonna see him again? Maybe. Maybe? Just maybe. Maybe. Hello? Hi, it's Linda. Hey, good morning. Amy's really sick. She is? Oh, that's terrible. Could you please come over? <gasps> I'm jumping in the car right now. Thank you. I'm jumping in the car right now. normal. It's probably food poisoning. Still electron a blood test just to be sure. Why do I need a blood test? It's just an upset stomach. As a precaution. Maybe it was the iced tea. Iced tea? Last night she got up from bed and had some. Who gets up at three in the morning and has iced tea? I do. 
You know, it did taste a little weird. Well, does the tea spoil? Maybe it's spoiled. Who knows? to the lab. We're going to full pan on it. We should have results in a couple of days. Oh, I have to get ready for work. There's more ginger ale in the fridge, and you call me if you need me, okay? I love you. Feel better. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for coming over. Of course. <clears throat> Can I ask you something? How did you know that I got out of bed at three? I mean, is there something chemical going on in the brain at that hour or what? Everyone gets out of bed at three. Why three? It's so weird. <laughs> I'm totally fascinated by that kind of thing. It's part of the reason I wanted to get into the pre-med program in the first place. Sure. You know, you've got something that everybody in our profession should have. What's that? Dr. Victor. Amy, there you are. Hi, I was looking at the board, but I couldn't find your office. Let's talk over here. No, they haven't put my name up yet. So, there's no sign of anemia. Everything looks fine. That's good. They also happen to run an STB panel, which looks for any indication of a sexually transmitted disease. Now, forgive me for asking, but have you noticed any signs of blisters or cold sores around your vagina? No. Of course not. Why? Well, according to this panel, you're showing signs of genital herpes. What? Yeah. Most people don't even know they have it. You might not see visible signs of it either on your body or your partner's, but the infection can still spread through sexual contact. That's impossible. This test is wrong. Mm. Why do you say that? Because I've only been with Garth, and he's only been with me. Mm -hmm. Now look, these blood tests may help detect infection, but the results aren't always conclusive. He, he swore to me he'd never been with anybody else. He lied to me? I'm sorry. You can't tell him all about this. I won't. Okay, picture. Okay, hold it. Big smile. Great. Nice. Good. So when is it going to be up? Probably Wednesday. Well, I look forward to reading it then. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Hey, what are you doing here? I was just about to text you. What's up? Are you okay? Why are you talking to Valerie and Laura? Because Valerie and Laura are writing a featured article on me for the school news website. Oh. Soccer Scouts, baby. They love that stuff. Which one did you hook up with? Valerie or Laura? What? <laughs> I didn't hook up with either one of them. Because whoever you did sleep with, you should probably tell them they got a big problem now. Okay, you're starting to freak me out. What are you talking about? I just got a blood test. You gave me genital herpes. You told me you were a virgin when we did it the first time. I... I was a virgin when we did it the first time. You liar! I see I... the way you flirt with every girl at this school. Who did you sleep Shh. with? Shh! I swear to God, you were the only girl I've ever been with. Then how did I get infected? I, I, I don't know. This test has got to be wrong. It's not. Well, then it must have been you that hooked up with somebody because it was not me. Oh, great. You know what, Garth? You want to have sex with other people. I get it. That makes you human. But accusing me for what you did, that just makes you a jerk. Come on. This is crazy. Don't talk to me.
Take my hand. You're ready for this. You can do it. Look around the world. It's your world. Stop, no. I can I don't want to do this. Breathe. Now we're just sitting here still, right? Now, put your foot on the gas pedal, but don't push. Can you see how slow we're going? Now push a little bit, a little bit. See, now we're moving. Yeah. What? I'm sorry for what I said at school. I know you didn't sleep with somebody else. That was a stupid thing for me to say. What do you want? I want to see you. Can you meet me? No. Oh, just for a couple minutes? No. Let me come by and pick you up. I said no. I don't want to see you. I don't, I don't even have time for this phone call. Look, I still think that test is wrong. I mean, I don't know why you were so quick to believe what some doctor tells you and not me. That doctor saved my life. And for the record, it's called science, Garth. It's not up for debate. I'm sorry. It's just two years. That's how long we've been going out. You're just going to throw that away? Please, just hear me out. <sighs> Look, all that I know is when I met you for the first time, I knew that I loved you. It wasn't even a question. It, it just felt right. I mean, even now, when we're arguing... I would rather be here with you on the phone, you hating my guts, than anywhere else in the world. On our worst day together, it is still better than a day without you. <laughs> Two months ago, I asked you to marry me, and I meant it. You can hate me, or you can tell the whole world that I'm some sort of cheating scumbag. I don't care. I am still going to love you, no matter what. Dr. Slauson's gonna help me with my physiology homework. <laughs> um, he's got a whole lecture planned, I gotta go. Call me if you wanna talk. Oxytocin. We call it the cuddle hormone. <clears throat> it's released by both men and women during orgasm. It deepens the feelings of attachment and makes couples feel much closer to one another after they've had sex. And the more sex you have, the higher your oxytocin level. And the deeper the bond becomes. The deeper your bond becomes. Have you ever experienced anything like this? Um... I, uh... Well, maybe someday. <clears throat> so, any questions? Uh, actually, I have to go to bed. Good night. Oh, good night, sweetie. Good night, Mom. Good night. So, how'd it go? Oh, I think she learned a lot. Wonderful. Mom, I have to tell you something. No, leave first. 
You don't know what you've done for me. He's such okay, a great a guy. I can sleep again thanks to him. He helped me get over my fair Mom. heights. He's kind. He's generous. He's funny. And he's so... He's a pervert. What? He was hitting on me last night. Please tell me you're joking. I wish I was. What happened? Well, he asked me if I'd ever experienced a high level of oxytocin, which... You know, happens to I know. I took a whole semester of women's reproductive health. And yeah, it can get really awkward when the teacher talks about that stuff. You should have seen the way he was looking at me. I mean, lecturing about it, that's one thing. But asking me about my sexual experiences? That's crossing the line. What do you want me to do? Break up with him? Maybe. Yeah. You're unbelievable. I'm sorry. You're the one who wanted me to go out with him in the first place. Well, I know, but now I think I was wrong. Well, thanks a lot for changing your mind. This is the first guy since your dad that I... You're 18, and I don't expect you to understand what I'm about to say, but... In the last couple of years... I was seriously doubting I could ever feel this way again. I'm sorry. But do you think I wanted him to come on to me last night? I'm not so sure that he did. Is he going to move in with us? Because if he does, you're going to have to take my name off that mailbox. I was not hitting on her. You shouldn't have asked her about her sex life. What were you thinking? I'm a doctor, Linda. I talk about these types of things with my female patients all the time. Well, she got the wrong idea then. Apparently so. I guess it's my fault. It's just I'm so used to talking about the subject, I don't think twice. You know what's going on here, don't you? She doesn't want you to move on. What do you mean? It's a known fact that when kids lose their mother or their father at a young age, they rebel when the single parents start dating again. I was a doctor in residence at an adolescent psych facility. We used to see this all the time, doll. All the time. It's common. Yeah. You're probably right. I'm sorry I got upset. Baby, you okay? Hey, what's the matter? <laughs> Who wrote these things? People at school, everybody. How'd they find out? Garth. Girl, I am so mad right now. It's not okay. But it will be. You know why? <laughs> Two reasons. Number one, what you have is really easy to live with. <laughs> and secondly, we're going to sue those people for what they posted. <sighs> no. Yes, I will. It's terrible what they posted, and they're going to pay for what they did. I'm going to see to it. Well... There you go again, rescuing me. Oh, baby. I want to apologize for my lecture the other night. Your mom said I made you feel uncomfortable. If you want me to stay away from your mother, I'll do it. I shouldn't have reacted the way that I did. I mean, now that I think about it, I misinterpreted the whole thing. 
I'm not a bad guy. I mean, you did save my life after all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sasson, I, I don't think you should. Victor, what the hell are you doing? He is so good, mother. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Linda. Sorry to call so late. I need to talk to you. I made you breakfast. Oh, thanks. I'm so late. It's not even funny. Well, I was hoping we could talk. I can't. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll see you tonight. Victor asked me to marry him. What did you tell him? Well, what do you think I told him? I told him yes. Yeah, he's going to ask for your permission, so try to act surprised. Obviously, he doesn't need my permission if you already told him yes. I knew it. I knew you'd have this attitude. Well, what did I tell you the other day? Did you completely forget? I talked to him about that, and he didn't mean anything by it. I can't freaking believe this. Look, I know you don't like him, but you could at least support your mother a little bit. I am in love with him, and he's incredibly good to me. Do you have to get married so soon? You're the one who wanted to shack up with Garth right after you graduate. Garth has a big mouth. Why can't you just date Dr. Slauson for a while? See how it goes. Because I want to marry him, okay? I want to do this, and that's it. Super. Shove it down my throat, why don't you? I'm not about to kick this amazing man out of my life just because you're not ready to move on. What? Your father is gone. And he's not coming back. That is not what this is about. I can't believe you. Roger, how's it going? I'm, I'm good. Good. I'm, uh... I'm at the studio. We're, uh, in the middle of a recording session right now. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. All right, did I call it a bad time? No, it's cool. What's up? My mom's getting married. Really? Yeah, but I think she's making a mistake, which is why I called you. I need your help. Help me. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Talk some sense into her. You'll understand when you meet the guy, but... She won't listen to me, and I figured she might listen to her brother. Okay, yeah, um, <laughs> just have her give me a call whenever she wants. No, I need you to come down to San Diego. San Diego? 
No, I can't. My, my bike is all messed up, and, and I'm slammed right now. I'm, I'm in the middle of this record. Uncle Roger, you've missed my birthday for the last ten years. It's the least you could do. So, what brings you to San Diego? You want to borrow money again? <laughs> Linda, no. I wanted to come down and surprise you. Come on. Hey, so tell me about this new guy. What do you want to know? He saves Amy's life, so you decide to marry him? <laughs> Actually, he's the one who proposed, not me. Congratulations. So you guys were in Acapulco, like, two months ago. It's fast. None of us are getting any younger. Right about that. Hello. So, uh, does he have any kids, any family? Never married, no kids. I bet his parents must love you. He's older. His folks are gone. When do I get to meet him? He's coming over this afternoon. Cool. Have you met any of his friends? No, I haven't. How long has he lived in San Diego? He just moved here from back east. What are you getting at? Amy. What do you think of him? She knows what I think about him. Hey, what's going on here? What? You never want to know about me. You've asked me more questions in the last five minutes than you have my entire life. Hey, my big sister's getting married. I'm just curious, that's all. I asked him to come here. She's worried you're making a mistake. Look, I can't believe this. Linda, your new boyfriend was hitting on her. He was not hitting on me. Yes, he was. You barely know the guy. What if you're wrong about him? What if I'm not? What if I'm in love with him? I finally meet a man I care about. She completely misinterprets something he does, and I'm supposed to call it off because of that? I'm not going to. Hey, I'm just looking out for our family. Yeah, family. That's right. Where were you eight years ago when this family needed you? Amy loses her father. Where was her uncle? He was working. You were in L.A. selling dope. Don't come into my house and start giving me life advice, Raj. It's not gonna work. He's here. <clears throat> Good. Can't wait to meet him. Yeah. Come on. Hi. Hi. These are for you. Well, thank you. Come in. Oh. My brother's here. Is that bad? Well, you'll see. Hey. Hi. How you doing? I'm Roger. Pleasure to meet you, Victor. Your sister Linda's told me a lot about you. She said you're an amazing singer. Really? Yeah. So I bought one of your songs off the internet. Oh, yeah. Which one? Uh, which one? The one about the gambler and the girl who met on the bus? Oh, yeah, man. And I recorded that one a long time ago. You downloaded that? Yeah, I did. That is really nice. Thank you very much. I just played a band myself. No kidding. What'd you play? Bass. Yeah. Local clubs, mostly. That's how I paid my way through undergrad. You never told me that. Were you any good? We were dreadful. <laughs> but the crowds were so drunk. They thought you guys were the Rolling Stones. Stones. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> do you want to grab a beer in the back? Thank you. All right, let's do it. Nice guy. I'll be right out. not what you're supposed to say. I just got through talking with him for like three hours. He's an okay guy. I asked you to pound some sense into your sister's head, not fall in love with him. So, I know, believe me, I didn't plan it like this. But seriously, maybe your mom's right. <laughs> well, maybe you just read too much into what happened with him. It's possible, isn't it? I mean, if he's such a douchebag, why did he save your life? So you know your mom's been through hell. She deserves to be happy. 
And personally, <laughs> I have no business screwing up her marriage. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. So, good luck with your new album, buddy. Thank you, man. If my bass player flakes on me, can I give you a call? No. Because I want your album to be good. <laughs> so where did you used to play? New York? Uh, Salt Lake City. Really? I lived in Salt Lake for like five years. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's where I learned to become an alcoholic. Uh -huh. <laughs> what part of town did you live in? Oh, man. That was a long time ago. Uh, downtown. I used to live at uh, 800 South, 300 East. How about you? That's an address. That sounds more like a geometry equation. Okay, here you go. I made your care package. There's a little bit of everything from dinner. Oh, baby. <laughs> Can you believe this? No. Excuse us. I'll see you tomorrow. It was a pleasure to meet you. I'll see you at the wedding. Bye, honey. Drive safe. That was odd. What? He said he used to live in Salt Lake City. When I told him what my old address was, he didn't know what I was talking about. So? Anyone that has ever lived in Salt Lake City knows that the city was mapped out on an XY axis, right? The, the, the street names are, they're, they're funky. It's not like any other city, but they're practical. Victor? He didn't know that. Good night, Roger. Hi, uh, excuse me. May I help you? Yeah, um, I used to live in San Diego about 10 years ago, and I'm back in town. I'm trying to locate my former doctor. San Diego Presbyterian Hospital, how may I direct your call? One moment, please. Was he in this hospital? He was, Dr. Victor Slauson. Does he still work here? That name doesn't sound familiar, but let me check. There's no doctor here by that name. Um, I'm wondering... Is there any way you could locate him with your database there for me? San Diego Presbyterian Hospital, please hold. I'm really busy right now. When it slows down, I can check the AMA database. That would be great. Thank you. Okay, why don't you write down your number and I'll give you a call. Okay. been thinking about where to do the wedding. If we do it in New Hampshire, then you can invite all your friends, but then all mine will have to fly out and we'll have to put them up in hotels. He's our witness. What do you think? I think you have more friends than I do. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh, and then we'd save money right there. This coffee went right through me. Uh, would you excuse me? I'm going to go to the ladies' room. Sure, baby. Mm. Take your time.
much. Call me as soon as you can when you get this, okay? I just got some information about the man you're about to marry. Okay, remember last night I told you about Victor not knowing about the addresses in Salt Lake City, right? Okay, well, just, it just it got me thinking. So I went down to the hospital. I got the receptionist to check the database. Apparently, there is no Dr. Victor Slauson practicing medicine anywhere in the state of California. Okay, just, just call me. And I know that I've always been a screw-up, okay? But I am, I am your brother and I love you. And I'm just I'm worried about this guy. Okay. Look at the time. I have to go back to work. Oh, I just realized I need to go too. Oh. I'll call you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm afraid it's the end for me. Doctor, what do you mean? Are you good? No. No, there's nothing physically wrong with me, Nurse Peters. Well, then, then what is it? I'm resigning my post as chief surgeon, effective immediately. He's forcing you to quit, isn't he? I'm not at liberty to discuss this. You can't resign. You're the only one who can stop him. Thank you for your confidence, Nurse Peters. But he's more powerful than you think. I don't understand. You weren't there. You didn't see what he did to that poor girl and the girl's mother. He's a monster. We should call the police, have him arrested. For what? He hasn't broken the law. At least nothing we can prove. I refuse to accept that. And I refuse to let you go. Stay with me. Let's change this hospital for the better. This hospital is ruined thanks to that madman. He's taken the Hippocratic Oath and rewritten it to justify his twisted morality. All the more reason you should stay, Dr. Oswald. If we don't stand up to him, who will? And can you imagine how many people will suffer because of him? I can't do this anymore. I've tried. Then try harder. I've done everything I possibly could to convince Mrs. Townsend to get rid of him. But it's no use. It's too late for that. You're a coward! Maybe I am. Goodbye, Nurse Peters. Wait! Don't leave. Please. I really don't have time for this. What the hell are you doing here? I'm sorry. <laughs> Before you go, there's something you need to know. Wait, 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 wait. I love you. I have since the first day that we worked together, and I know that you love me too. Stay with me. No, 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 no. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna miss that train. What he's doing to you is wrong. You can't give up, Doctor. You have to fight back. Fight for what you know is right. Fight for the only thing in this world that's worth dying for. Fight for love. Fight for me. Do me a favor, will you? Anything. Kill my mother, and then love me forever. I will. Good boy.
I, Linda, take you, Victor, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death do us part. You have exchanged your vows before God and these witnesses. Therefore, by the power vested in me, in the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. like the groom didn't invite many people, did he? Well, he's kind of a loner. Besides, his family's back east. Any sign of your Uncle Roger? No. Mm. Figures. That was so weird when he left last week without saying goodbye. Don't worry about him. I'm sure he's back in L.A. doing whatever it is he does. So, you, you didn't tell me where you're going for your honeymoon? I didn't think you were interested. I'm interested, Mom. All right. Well, you should know, just in case you need to get a hold of us. Victor rented a vacation house in Pine Valley, about 45 minutes away. I sent you a text with the address. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay. Mom, I'm sorry about all your... It's okay. Victor's pretty great, isn't he? I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Come here. Mm, I love you. I love you too. Over an hour ago. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Clark. I've been a little busy. I just got married. Where are you right now? Are you at home? Not now. But you know, I can't discuss that. That's private information. Have you ever lived in Los Angeles? No. Why do you ask? I ran across a fascinating news article about a cardiologist in LA. You're a cardiologist, right? Yes. Perhaps you may have heard of this man. He fell in love with a teenage girl, kidnapped her, faked her death. Then he ran off to Mexico. His name is Dr. Albert Beck, and he's wanted by the FBI. And he looks like this. Have a great time. We will. Where's Victor? I think he's still upstairs. Can you go get him? Um, sure. Thanks, sweetie. Oh, Linda, the food was incredible. Yeah, we got it catered from that little Italian place. Oh, yeah? You're right down the wall. Nice. I didn't hurt her. I saved her life. I loved that girl, and she betrayed me. Dr. Beck, I'm Special Agent Andrew Chung with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Okay, I think we're done here. Look, I can run a trace on this video transmission, but you can make this easy on yourself and tell me your location. What's it gonna be? I'm not gonna tell you where I am. You think I'm insane? Fine, go ahead and run your little video trace. See if I care. What was that? No. I'm not going to let you ruin one of the happiest days of my life. You know why? Because as of this very moment, she is my family. That means we'll always be together. I can't tell you how happy, how truly happy. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Nobody. I'm just talking to myself. You know, when you live alone, as long as I've been living alone, you end up doing stuff like that. My mom's waiting for you out front. She's ready to go. Right. Amy, wait. Oh. I 
I want you to know that if anything ever happens to your mom and she can't take care of you for whatever reason, I'll be there. Okay, great. I'm your stepfather now. You know that, right? Yeah. I love you, Amy. I do. Don't you need to go on your honeymoon? <gasps> right. Here we go. talk to you. Are you okay? We're gonna be late. We want to get out there before the sun goes down. I, uh, what's the matter? Nothing. Um, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Have fun. Bye, sweetie. We'll see you soon. This better be good. It is. I think your blood test was wrong. Why do you say that? Because I just got the results of my blood report, and I don't have it. Congratulations, but that doesn't mean anything. Wait, don't hang up. That's not why I'm calling. Look, I showed your blood test to my doctor. Oh, terrific. Thanks a lot. She said that our tests are completely different. Like, like it's formatted on the page in a way she's never seen before. So our blood samples went to different labs. So what? Yeah, that could be the case. Or it could be something else. Cut to the punchline, Garth. What are you getting at? I think Dr. Slauson faked your test. Why would he do that? Well, here's my theory. When we went to the beach that day, he said some things to me that... that kind of pissed me off. Like what? Like he tried to get me to admit that I cheated on you. I think he's trying to break us up. Hello? I just saw him talking to a blank computer screen. He's crazy. Thanks for telling me this. You're welcome. I gotta do something. I'll call you later. It's a decorator. I want you to know that if anything ever happens to your mom and she can't take care of you for whatever reason, I'll be there. I'm your stepfather now. I love you, Amy. I do. The cellular device you are trying to reach is either disconnected or currently beyond our coverage area. 
son of a bitch! My mom's in trouble. Um, she just got married, and I think her new husband's gonna kill her. Is your mother with you now? No, she's on her honeymoon. I need you to send somebody. Okay, ma'am. Slow down. What makes you think she's in trouble? There's something weird about the man she just married. Um, he's infatuated with me. They just drove to the mountains, and I tried calling her cell phone, but it's out of range. Okay, one moment, please. Come on, come on. to transfer you to one of our trauma counselors. They can help you with your problem. I don't need counseling! I need a cop! Don't you dare transfer me! Calm down, please. Okay, look, I know it sounds crazy, but you have to believe me, okay? I just broke into the guy's house, and, and there's an article here about a woman who died on her honeymoon. It all adds up. Hello? Ma'am, you do realize that breaking and entering is a felony. You know that, right? You people are impossible! Hey, this is Garth. Leave a message and I will hit you back. Garth, it's me. Um, I'm, I'm really worried about my mom, and I need your help. Dr. Slauson took her to this house in the middle of nowhere, and I need you to meet me there. I'm texting you the address. <laughs> I propose I propose one more toast to love, life, liberty, and lots of money in that order. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Never trust a person who doesn't drink. Oh. Ever. to do to me. Do you trust me? Of course I do. Of course you do.
<laughs> what are you doing? Step up. Okay. Step up. Oh. Don't oh. be scared. Okay. Now push up all the way. <laughs> okay. Mom? Now find your center of gravity. I'm gonna let you go. Ah. You're on your own here now. Look how great you're doing. <laughs> that is fantastic. <sighs> ah. One more step. Step up. Step. Yes. I'm gonna let you go. Okay. Look how you feel. Now take off that blindfold. Okay. There you go. Stay. 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 Good girl. Steady. 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 Mom! Amy! <gasps> It was love at first sight, at last sight, at ever and ever sight. <laughs> hey! Hey, somebody open the door! She's choking! I can help her. Somebody open the door. I can help her. I'm a doctor. She's gonna die. Open the door. Open, open the it. door. Guys, it's so damn slow. Come here. 
Okay. There we go. Okay, relax, 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 relax. Breathe. Breathe, breathe deep. Can somebody bring out some water? No ice. Thank you. You're welcome. I owe you one. Yeah, you do.